My memories in Colombia. Everybody that matters knows that Colombia is a country in South America. Most of my family is actually from there. 90% of my family lives in and were born in Colombia, and 100% of my family have visited Colombia. Me and my family have visited Colombia for as long as I can remember. Hey guys, Galaxy Fire Gamer here. Today I'm going to be talking about memories I had on my visits to Colombia. So me and my family were in Colombia and my grandpa was about to take us on a helicopter ride. So we had to go to an airport to a completely different desk that was for personal flights and we took off. We could see my dad's childhood home from up there. We could see my grandma's mountain house. A day later, we were driving to my grandma's mountain house, and my grandpa was driving us. We were on this really bendy highway on top of a mountain, and the sides of the roads were cliffs, blocked by barriers, which were to prevent cars from driving off the cliffs. And my grandpa was driving really fast. I thought we were about to jump the barrier and fall off the cliff. He kept speeding as he made the turns. I could feel the shift in velocity pulling me against the side of the door in the car. And keep in mind, I had my seatbelt on. Throughout the entire ride, I was in constant fear of the car jumping the barrier and crashing off the cliff. He would yank the steering wheel to one side, the other. I thought we were going to crash. There were a couple cars stopped on the side of the highway. They looked like they were broken down. And my grandpa just quickly steered past them and kept going fast. We were fine. The next day, we decided to take a drive up my dad's old mountain house. Up to my dad's old mountain house. My dad talked about a lot of memories he had in that house before it got old and they had to demolish it. The drive wasn't as bad as the one to my grandma's mountain house on the highway and we ended up driving past a ravine and we arrived at the top. When we got to the lot, there was a lot of overgrown bushes and leaves and really tall grass and foliage. We ended up taking a picture at the top. On our way driving back down the mountain, I remember there being a small parade on one of the roads back home. The following week, me and my dad went to a supermarket, and there was a sweet old lady who asked my dad in Spanish how she had a grandson who lived in the United States, and she asked my dad how to get her grandson to, act, to practice Spanish more and come to Colombia more. My dad recommended her to sign her grandson up for a summer camp with activities that her grandson liked that were in Spanish. When we were going to the checkout aisle to pay for the items, I noticed that there was this weird book written in Spanish that claimed that Hitler lived in Colombia. This was very weird to look at, and me and my dad both knew that this was not true in any way. It was just a conspiracy. On the way back home, we saw these street performers on the road when the traffic lights were red, juggling bowling pins and baseball bats and doing other things. This is how some people make money in Colombia. The passing drivers would pull up and hand over some money to the performers. A couple years later, after a couple more times going to Colombia, we went to Colombia once again for Thanksgiving, and we went to the zoo. When we drove to the parking lot, I saw a red and black bird. It looked like that one unused bomb bomb bird from the Angry Birds trilogy in the game files. We saw all kinds of animals. Flamingos, different kinds of parrots, baboons, lions, snakes, frogs, and a bunch of other animals. We also crossed a river that went through the zoo. I remember there being a statue of a turtle that used to live at that zoo for several years before dying a few years before I came. My mom told me that she remembered that turtle when she went there as a child. She also told me that that very zoo was the first time she ever saw a snake, and my mom has a phobia of snakes. Eventually, we stopped at a restaurant inside the zoo. My family got ice cream while I had a Fanta soda. My dad, by coincidence, met an old colleague from high school at the zoo. They talked for a bit, and then we moved on at the zoo. Eventually, we got back in the car. After a super fun day at the zoo, we were all tired, and we drove home. Anyways, that's all for today. I'm Galaxy Fire Gamer, and thank you for watching.